world record. Two words that immediately signify the greatest and highest performing moment in a single event in sport. If you have been one of the very few to ever set a sporting world record, you've achieved something that will forever go down in the history books as the greatest moment to ever occur. A singular moment of greatness that nobody else in history has ever achieved. In 2024, we have been lucky enough to witness various world records. We saw Faith Kipiegon from Kenya break the women's 1500 world record again. We witnessed Yaroslava Mahuchik from Ukraine break a 37-year-old world record in the women's high jump at 2.10 meters, and like she pretty much does every season. We also witnessed Sidney McLaughlin Lavrone break her own world record in the women's 400 meter hurdles, achieving a mark of 50.65 seconds in this year's United States Olympic Trials. Witnessing a world record is one of the most memorable things that you can do in the sport of athletics, but the reality is that not all world records are created equal, with some lasting for years, others for decades, some for a generation, and then there are other world records that stand for multiple generations. If you get everything right, it's almost like a chain reaction. You can do something which is so far better than what you've previously done when everything synced up. That's what happened in 95. Oh, another big jump! Oh. <laughs> he can't believe it! It's almost world record after world record! Tremendous speed once again, and he's, oh my goodness, that is huge! And it was precisely that, that sort of coordination of speed, of strength, the technical aspects to produce something which felt phenomenally easy. That is over 60 feet. Oh, Jonathan Edwards has produced a remarkable jump. Whether the wind speed reading is illegal or not, it's the longest jump ever seen in the history of track and field athletics. It was a crazy jump and it's still the most amazing day of my athletics career. You know, much more so than winning gold in Sydney, more so really than the world record or the two world records. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today. How are you doing on this fine Sunday? I'm doing great, Andrew. Thank you for having me. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this very much. And Andrew, thanks, thanks for your videos um, on some of my jumping, and uh, they're really, really good. This is the book Triple Jump Trailblazers, a collaboration between Andy Benz and Lawrence Harvey, a detailed collaboration that depicts some of the greatest jumpers in track history compiled together in a historic account of athletics legends. Using the novel Harvey Benz method to determine the greatest of all time in any event, Jonathan Edwards from Great Britain comes out on top as the overwhelming greatest triple jumper of all time. And one of the big reasons why this is the case is because of a few extraordinary moments that took place back in 1995. For the 95 World Championships in Gothenburg, Sweden, Edward opened his World Championships with a world record jump, achieving a distance of 18.16 meters for his opening leap. This was the first time that any human had exceeded the 18 meter barrier, and Edwards made it look so easy on this day. And despite the greatness that was achieved in round one, he then proceeded to do this in the very next round. Oh, another big jump! 29! It just gets better and better! The dominance that came from this competition was completely and utterly unparalleled, and to this day, almost 30 years later, it still stands as the official world record. But one key competition that really puts forward Edward's greatness came from the 1995 European Cup that took place just one month earlier in France. For this competition, Edwards was set to make absolutely unforgettable history in the second round. And for this jump, he managed to do this. Tremendous speed once again, and he's, oh my goodness, that is huge! That has got to be over 18 meters. Now only two jumpers in the history of the event have ever been over 18 once again, the wind speed. With a staggering leap of 18.43 meters, Edwards achieved what many consider to be the single greatest jump of all time. And here is how he described this legendary moment. It was a crazy jump, but it's still the most amazing day of my athletics career. 
you know, much more so than winning gold in Sydney, more so really than the world record or the two world records. I mean, I went into that season not knowing what to expect. I'd had a virus the previous year. I jumped really poorly. I hadn't trained as hard as I thought I perhaps needed to train through that 94, 95 off season. I knew I was in good shape, but I had no expectation of, of jumping that. I mean, why, why would you? Nobody ever got close to jumping that far. Um, and in the first round, I jumped 1790 with no step. I mean, I literally had no step and jumped 1790. I thought, oh my goodness, what could I do? And then, and then literally flew. I mean, just the way that I ran, the way the transition off the board, the length of the hop and step. I mean, if you compare it with Gothenburg, I reckon I probably hopped and stepped close to a meter further. But for a thing of beauty and for a feeling, Lille was, this, was just like nothing else. And you know, I went from a 1750 jumper to an 1850 jumper. What has Edwards just done? At 18.43, Edwards set what many consider to be an absolutely untouchable mark, as this jump exceeds his official world record by a huge margin. But unfortunately, the wind was slightly over the allowable at positive 2.4 meters per second for this jump. So sadly, the official history books do not recognize this as an official world record. And while this is certainly an extraordinary story in athletics, there's actually more to this competition than meets the eye. Because in round four of this European Cup, Edwards also achieved a jump of 18.39, proving that his 18.43 was certainly not a fluke. This jump was also rather unfortunate because it included a tailwind of positive 3.7 meters per second. So once again, this jump, while longer than his official world record, does not count as an official world record. In the history of the triple jump, there have only been a handful of moments where an athlete exceeded the 18 meter barrier. But in the case of Jonathan Edwards, he has more 18 meter jumps than anyone else in history. Um, and I also jumped, I mean, it's, it's forgotten, you can't even find it on YouTube. I jumped 18.39 in the fourth round and it wasn't such a good jump, but um, there was just fluidity about it and there was, yeah. It's funny you mentioned that's not that good of a jump. I'll have to put a little subtitle. Oh, yes. 1839 is not that good of a jump, wind or not. And <laughs> Even if we adjust these marks to a legal wind reading of 0.0, .0 meters per second, they would both be well above his current world record of 18.29. But for so many athletics fans, even the most avid of track nerds, they do not even know about these two marks, especially the 18.39. This kind of occurrence is extraordinarily rare. In fact, it's only ever happened on five separate occasions across any event in track and field. And these were all long jump moments and one hurdles moment, where Mike Powell, Ivan Pedroso, Heike Dretschler, and Toby Amusan all broke the current standing world records, but because of wind readings and one very strange event, including blocking the actual wind gauge, basically cheating, none of these marks currently stand as the world record. But what happened with Jonathan Edwards back in 1995 was such a special and bizarre moment that it is the only event where a top performing all time moment was denied on two separate occasions and for it to happen in the same competition makes this one of the most extraordinary and strange circumstances of all time. After Edwards' world record and all time achieving 1995 season, he went on to be ranked as the world number one triple jumper for five years. And after a silver medal achievement in 1996 in the Olympics, where he jumped a distance of 17.88, he went on to earn his Olympic gold in the Sydney Olympics in 2000, achieving a jump of 17.71 meters. Throughout his career, Edwards was an eight-time global championship medalist, a multiple-time world record breaker, and he was ranked in the world top 10 for a staggering 13 seasons. Since Edwards' record in the 1995 World Championships, only seven other athletes have ever jumped in excess of 18 meters. But the mark of Jonathan Edwards, both in the World Championships and the European Cup, has never been beaten. Thanks for watching, everyone, and as always, until next time.